We run a lot of five out as well as four out one in. Because we get in the season, I kind of favor the four out one in. Tonight we use the five out to see if the big boys, they can take that load from one side of the court to the other. Make sure we're making great decisions, fellas. Make the easy play. Make what's there. Make what's given you. And let's have great shot selection, and that concludes early. If you take a shot in the first 10, 15 seconds of the shot clock, it needs to be a back cut layup. It needs to be a pull up to 10, 15 feet when you're open, or a wide open three on the catch. Don't force anything early. Make them play defense. Let's move them around. Two men have to be back. No transition for them. We've got to make sure they don't get fast break buckets because we got guards sucked in. And you got a guy like Ethan, you got some offensive players at point who are going to do some driving. That means somebody's got to get their back, right? Somebody's got to get their back. We need two men back because, again, just like Cam, if you take away the team's layups, make them shoot jumpers, it changes their shooting percentage. And, fellas, this is the question we asked from day one. It's what we talked about in our meeting back in September. Are we tough? Are we tough? Tough doesn't mean coming out and throwing a punch. It means playing hard. It means playing through the, the bad stretch of a game. It means boxing out a bigger guy and taking him out so he can't get the rebound, so your man can't get the rebound. Are you able to do that consistently? Are we tough? Make sure we play tough on both ends and play hard on both ends. You're a member of the team. We're going to do it as a team. Two little things we need to remember. We are doubling the post, especially from the point guard. That doesn't mean the post needs to just sit behind the freaking post and relax. You can't do that. You've at least got to be, if the ball's above the top of the key, high side on him like that. And if the ball gets anywhere below the top of the key, you've got to be low side, forcing him back to the middle a little bit where we have some great help in there, but they can't just throw passes from 20 feet in there. Now, again, if a guy has the ball, we should have pressure on him. Everybody else should be in the outside hard. So post, just don't sit behind the guy. And again, a guy catches the post, they come at you. Stay vertical. Make him shoot over you. Let's go get the rebound. All right? Fellas, this is a tremendous opportunity. You know, you know how much fun this would be to be on ESPN's bottom line for the next 12 hours with a W against the D1. And about three or four D3s a year do this. This is our opportunity. you got to do it for the first minute. You've got to be tough. You've got to answer those questions up there. And you need to do what we do as a team. All right? Let's have a great night, fellas. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we come back in 12 minutes, Mark. Our Father, Lord, Lord heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Please do not have to be the issue. Hey, from the jump, we're getting them from the jump tonight, fellas. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three.